Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a bar tutorial. Um, I'm starting off barefaced because I have to explain what I have to work with. <laughs> um, whenever I see bar tutorials, it's always of someone with eyebrow hair. Obviously, I have like half brows. I have very little to work with. They go to like the arches, and that's that's up. That's what we've got here. Um, so. People often ask me, like, why do I have such a little brow? Um, story time. <laughs> story time for sure. Um, so does everyone remember when, you know, early 2000s, Chris Aguilera was really cool and, you know, Britney Spears was really cool. And they had very little eyebrow hair, especially Chris Aguilera. She had, Chris, blah, 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 blah. especially Chris Aguilera, she had, like, little to no eyebrow hair. And I want that look too, for some bizarre reason. Um, and I'm paying for it now. Fun fact, not all hair grows back. <laughs> if you pull out hair, especially by tweezing or waxing, you'll pull out the follicle, you'll destroy the follicle, it will never grow back. Exhibit A. Um, I tweezed out most of the backs of my brows, like the tails of my brows, for years. And they never grow back. And I realised this about six, seven years ago, that they just were not coming back. Just like Daddy, they were never coming back. And that's okay. So this is what you want to how to do brows with little to no brow. Obviously, I have still fortunate enough to have fronts of my brows, which I make the most of. If you have no eyebrow hair, this is still the same thing. You can still do very similar, similar looks to this. Um, whenever people kind of criticise people with little to no eyebrow hair, I get very upset about it. Because obviously this is partially a choice of mine, but when people have, say, alopecia or cancer or just have very sparse hair and it's not their fault, it really bothers me. So this is what you can do. Um, I think I've got, personally, I really like my brows when they're drawn on. I have no issue with having little to no bright eyebrow hair. Um, I don't really care. I say I look snoopy when I've got no eyebrows on and I think that's true. Um, but yeah, this is kind of my tutorial how to do it with little to no eyebrow hair. Um, using a formal product, easy peasy. And you can do so many different looks with it. It's unreal of how adaptable you can do your brows. Okay, so let's just jump straight into it and I'll show you how to do these brows. Let's get them nice. <laughs> I zoomed you guys in and the two products I use for my brows are the Revolution uh, Brow Pomade in Medium Brown. Um, I was using the Anastasia Dip Brow in also... Ah, oh, inventive. Medium brown, um, but I was looking for alternatives, so you could use either of these easy peasy. I have Mega Holes uh, hair gel. Um, I use this because I don't believe in spending 15, 20, 30, whatever pounds on a brow gel for these. <laughs> Basically, this is very similar. It's much easier to get than, you know, buying the ABH brow gel that everyone swears by. I just don't see the point of it for me, especially because I've got collectively one eyebrow. Um, and there's no point. Uh, angle brush is very important for this. This is my angle brush that I use. This is a very well loved Zoeva brush. It's, the, it's meant to be the wing liner brush, but I use it for uh, my brows. I think it's great. It's super thin, it's really nice, and it's synthetic, so it works really well with cream product. Um, brow colour is a totally personal preference. Just dipping into this. I'll get your brush fairly saturated and the cap, I kind of wipe it all off, wipe off a really good bit of it and then I go to the back of my hand I do it like here as well. So I've really got not much on there at all and it, because it's cream it kind of condenses all the hairs of the brush to be nice and thin, so it's like that, nice and thin. I then get a wee spoolie and the brow hair I do have, I brush them up. Um, just to kind of get them all on the bottom row especially really nice and neat and I do the bottom uh, line first so I kind of go in I don't go all the way in uh, this is how you get the fade really easily by the way it's a little fade trick is uh so you go here I usually do this about here and I follow my brow shape that I have but you can also, if you have no eyebrow hair or don't like the brow shape that you have, you could follow the, the golden rule. So basically, they just end about 
if you're in about where your nostril is in line with the corner of your eye, mine's going a bit further, I quite like that, it kind of brings my face in a little bit differently. Then I'll go for the bottom of your nostril and then kind of through your eye about here-ish and then again just here and you kind of line it up. I line up with like where my sideburn is so like literally it's right there but it's totally open to interpretation. I've drawn my brows on for so long I just do it instinctively. I don't follow rules. I don't have stencils. I've never bothered with stencils. I don't need to. I just can do it. I think I'm pretty decent at freehanding. So kind of go in like that. And then because I don't want my brow, I don't want to pull my face down, I like to pull them out. I like a more dramatic brow. So I do this. And I kind of just pull out. Almost straight. So then we've got like that. And then just in the back of my hand, I just kind of use up more product. And then just kind of the top level, following that line, just what we already have. And then a little trick for getting this to meet is really, really sad. Do that. And that makes them so you just go like that and you just let them kind of follow naturally. I'm just gonna go over all that, make this nice, nice and kind of solid and kind of co together. Now with like the very last of the product of the brush, I go right in to the front of my brow underneath. So it's all guided out. So this is what I have so far. So as you can see, it's a pretty solid line. Uh, this is the brow shape I want, so I'm fine with that. I go back into the cap of my uh, brow pomades and I don't know why I can't do this when I draw them on but I can go in like this above and just really make sure they're nice and flat and nice and rounded so as you can see that wasn't quite what I wanted but now it is and then I fill them in backwards so I like my brows have a bit of a fade to them especially because I have no brow hair here. Oh, and a little trick as well is if you want to condense more product and angle brush, don't use the line of it. Use like, so basically if you have like the sharpness of it here, the little nubbin guy here gets most product on it. So you can kind of build up product from that. Uh, I build in from backwards and then I go to the bottom and up. So wherever you want the most product you start off with, I just kind of flick through and do that and then I will just kind of taper through. I like to get to it here and I get the products in the back of my hand and I go here and with the brush that's flat now I flick up so just it fills in a lot quicker but a lot sparingly, like a lot more sparingly. And then if I do want those hair strokes to go back in the cap, back on the back of my hand, I just really, really lightly draw in like brow hairs. Little boys there. I'm gonna fluff them in, nothing too serious, nothing too harsh. Just kind of go over that and make sure it's all nice and rounded out. I do quite like a rounded off brow. I'm not supposed to, but I like it. Hey. Um, then get your spoolie, just a little brush. Like it could be a clean mascara one, it could be an actual spoolie, anything. I bought this as part of a brow kit and it's awesome. I just kind of brush them through, make sure it's all nice and evenly distributed. Um, you can still do this if you have no eyebrow hair. Uh, it's a good way of just kind of combing product through, especially as a pomade, because it's not fully set yet. You can do that. Cool, cool, cool. And then I go in with the same spoolie, this spoolie pool. Get a bit of my, uh, a little bit of my hair gel on the back of my hand. I use the back of my hand a lot. Uh, roll your spoolie in that, so it's just nice and kind of coated, just like a brow gel. And I'll go through and just secure any hairs that I do have. 
because this bitco tends to dip down because that's not where my natural arch is. Like that's where my natural arch is, so that's obviously a lot closer in than my drawn in one. I kind of make sure that those hairs are really pulled up so they're not gonna they're not gonna school on us. And then I just kind of make sure all the hairs and stuff are all nice in place. And the fronts are all kind of so you've got every hair, every hair has got a bit of definition to it. Then we've got our brow on, I like to kind of neat that up. So you could, you could stop at any point, like literally once this is done, that could be your brow. I like my brows very cleaned up and because I do my foundation after everything, I find it's good to clean up the top as well because it means that the foundation blends into the concealer and it doesn't have to come that near your brow. Um, at the minute I'm using a foundation stick because I obsess with foundation sticks. Uh, this is the Revolution one. Uh, it's the F1, I can tell you that straight away, because uh, it's the palest one. Uh, this is basically my highlight colour and I'm quite excited that we have that. So I do that, I take it on a little kind of flat uh, concealer brush, load it up like that, and then the back I have again, surprise, surprise, just wipe off any excess product. And then I kind of go in and clean up. Actually, I can't breathe, I'll do that. <laughs> brush, meant to be a brow brush. How this is meant to be a brow brush, I'll never know. Um, This is from uh, Real Techniques. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of the name. I've had this brush for years and years and years it's always done me good and i kind of go to the top and just like kind of come in from above so like that and then i can kind of just pull out the concealer or pull out the foundation sorry just so it's nice and pulled out a lot further so when i do come to do my foundation i only have to blend it into like a centimeter away from my eyebrow Nice and neat. And that's how I do reverse. <laughs> um, pretty simple actually for what people think I do. Uh, people think I use a lot of product a lot of different things. I really don't. Here is my favourite thing in the world. I like a faded eyebrow. I really do. I have not veered away from the Instagram brow. I'm not sorry. Uh, <laughs> this brow to me is Gucci. This brow to me is Prada. This to me brow is, you know, she pays her bills on time. She's got spare cash left over the month. You know, she orders doubles because she's that bougie, but she doesn't handle her liquor. <sighs> this brow, you know, pukes us off Hall Street every Friday and Saturday night at 3am, screaming at birds, chucking chips at them. This brow doesn't. This brow doesn't do you dirty. This girl cancels last minute. That's what that's, this, that is what this brow does. This brow cancels the last minute. This brow will always appear. So yeah. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for watching guys I know this is a bit of a weird one and yeah I'm going to do my other brow and then I will be doing a full face another video another time but yeah thank you so much for watching guys I'm glad you enjoy my very controversial brows